Hello everyone, welcome to the video lecture. In this video lecture, we will understand process communicating. Before building your network application, you also need a basic understanding of how the program running in multiple end system communicate with each other. In the terminology of operating systems, it is not actually the program but process that communicate each other. A process is a program that is running within a end system. Processes on two different end systems communicate with each other by exchanging messages across the computer network. A sending process creates and sends messages into the network and a receiving process receives these messages and possibly responds by sending message back. Now we will see client and server processes. A network application consisting of a pair of processes that send messages to each other over a network. For example, in the web application, a client browser process exchanges messages within a web server process. And in a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing system, a file is transferred from a process in one peer to other process in another peer. For each pair of communicating processes, we typically label one of the two processes as the client and the other process as the server. With the web, a browser is a client process and a web server is a server process. With peer-to-peer -peer file sharing, the peer is the downloading the file is labeled as client and the peer that is uploading the file is labeled as server. You may have observed that in some applications such as in peer-to-peer -peer file sharing, a process can be both a client and a server. Indeed, a process in a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing system can be upload and download. In the context of a communication session between a pair of processes, the process that initiates the communication is labeled as client and the process that waits to be contacted being the session is called as the server. In the web, a browser process initiates contact with the web server process. Hence, the browser process is the client and the web process or uh, server process is the server. In a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing, when a peer A ask peer B to send a specific file, peer A is the client and peer B is the server. Now you see the interface between the process and the computer network. Any message sent from one process to another must go through the underlying network. A process sends messages into and receives messages from the network through a software interface called a socket. Let's consider a situation to help us to understand the process and sockets. A process is similar to a house and its socket is corresponding to its door. When a process wants to send a message to another process on another host, it pushes the message out its door called socket. Once the message arrives at the destination host, the message passes through the receiving process door that is through the socket and the receiving process then acts according to the message received. So this figure shows a socket communication between two processes that communicate over the internet and this figure assumes that the underlying transport, transport protocol uses the TCP that is transmission control protocol. As shown in this figure, we have two communicating host and a socket is the interface between the application layer and the transport layer within the host. The application developer has control of everything on the application layer side of the socket but has a little control of the transport layer side of the socket. Now you see the addressing processes. In order for a process running on a host to send packets to the process running on the another host, 
द रिसीविंग प्रोसेस नीड्स टू हैव एन एड्रेस टू आइडेंटिफाई द रिसीविंग प्रोसेस टू पीस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन नीड टू बी स्पेसिफाइड वन इज द एड्रेस ऑफ द होस्ट एंड सेकेंड वन इज द आइडेंटिफायर दट स्पेसिफाइज द रिसीविंग प्रोसेस इन द डेस्टिनेशन होस्ट इन द इंटरनेट द होस्ट इज आइडेंटिफाइड बाई इट्स आई पी एड्रेस we will discuss more about ip address in coming videos for now all we need to know that an ip address is an a 32 bit address in ipv4 format this ending process must also identify the receiving process that is receiving the socket running in the host for example a web server is identified by port number that is 80 and a mail server process using smtp protocol is identified by port number 25 a list of well known port numbers for all internet standard protocols can be found in http this address thank you thank you for watching this video